Hello my now Photoshop friends, welcome back to this new season of now Photoshop. I'm very excited because I'm bringing you a secret. I know that there is a lot of people out there that wants to know how to get the, you know, bulk magazine look in their pictures and I have the secret and I have decided to spill the tea on the secret and reveal it. I am going to reveal how you get the bulk look, the bulk look in your pictures. It's super easy and you're gonna love it. So what you need to do is that you have to um, copy the original picture and then we're gonna go to image, adjustment, shadow and highlights and we're gonna go 30% in this. This is gonna work for uh, almost every picture. As you can see we have a very um, illuminated picture at this uh, original picture but we want to illuminate also the shadows a little bit because we want to create this evenness of contrast. But this is too much. So what we're going to do is that we're going to uh, right click and then blending options and then it says blend if it's gray. We're going to go to the highlights. We're going to uh, press the option key on Mac, Alt, Alt in Windows. And we're going to divide the slider and we're going to take it to all the way to the black slider. And that way we have created a more, you know, delicate transition uh, than before. Now we're going to go to new adjustment layer and we're going to choose curves. We have a grid here. It's, you know, a couple of squares that are going to like help you map this out. So what we're going to do is that we're going to take this and we're going to take it over here. We're going to take this, we're going to take it over here, we'll take this to here and this to here and we have created an S, kind of like a laid down S. And then we're going to go ahead and change it to difference. We're going to change it to 30%. And then you have to, you have seen here that all the highlights and the whites have now a kind of like a gray kind of effect. We don't want that much, so we're going to do basically the same blending options alt or option key, we're going to divide the vector or the slider and we're going to take it all the way to the uh, black slider and now we have a more a delicate um, effect and this is how you create this kind of like scanned image kind of faded thing but we need to create still the um, the vibrancy in, in the picture so what we're going to do for that is that we're going to go to new adjustment layer vibrancy and then vibrance or vibrancy, I don't know how to say it. And then we're going to take the vibrancy all the way up or the vibrance. And then we're going to take the saturation all the way down and it's going to be black and white. Why I'm doing this? Because I want to show you another thing that Bo also do. This is kind of like a very washed down blunt thing, very washed down thing. And this is how you do it. Just take, a, take the saturation up a little bit and you get to that. You know kind of like thing but we're not doing that today so I think a minus 30 in this case is gonna help me because I do want a little bit of uh, intensity on the color now on the color now we're gonna do a new adjustment layer for a selective color and this is where we're gonna play this is gonna be entirely up to you what you want to do on the grading of the color of the image in this case when it, since we are dealing with uh, skin tone the channel red and yellow is the one that's going to be you know affecting the skin tone I want a more tan look so I'm gonna take it all the way to plus 43 and then if I go to the yellow since I wanna make her a little blonder I'm gonna take it up I mean minus 79 or something like that and then you can always play also with the other options in every channel in this case I can play with the in the other the cyan magenta and yellow in the yellow channel and then just you know this is your opportunity to just play and try to find you know that color grading that you're looking for that is very bogey for you so take your time but what is going to affect a lot the picture will be the um, neutral channel because it's going to be affecting almost 80 to 85 percent of the picture so whatever uh, move you make it's going to be affecting a lot the picture so make sure that you take your time more than I am doing right now I'm like flying through this so just make sure you take your time on this
Then also, if you go to the white and you go to the minus uh, numbers, you can see that the highlight part of the image is very exaggerated. We don't want that much, but we do want a little bit. So I'm going to go to minus 12 maybe, or 14, 12, because I do want that highlight in those special places like the mouth and whatever, the lips and stuff. And then we can go to the black channel, and we have to have a little... Uh, we need to be very careful here because both never tint the black or the shadows that much like this, not even like this. It's never that tinted. So we need to be careful. If we want to put a little bit, we can, but not much. So we don't tint that much because it's never that way. And so there you have it. I'm going to do a little bit of a move here so I can do a before and after. As you can see, this is the before and this is the after with the bow uh, filter the bulk look is super easy and now we only you know missing the actual text and the header that's gonna say bulk it's super nice it's super easy I hope you like it please follow the new uh, now Photoshop Instagram page is on the links side of the YouTube channel and also subscribe please and if you like it put thumbs up it's very easy and I hope I can see you or talk to you or whatever lecture you or I don't know tutorial you in the next. Bye.